It orbits the Earth at more than 17,000 miles an hour, making the International Space Station a science laboratory like no other. Being a science weenie, I'm kind of a kid in a candy store up here doing every kind of science experiment uh, you could possibly imagine. That's Dr. Michael Barrett, one of seven crew members currently living on the ISS. Ignition, engines full power, and lift off. In early March, Barrett was part of Expedition 70. He'll spend six months studying everything from physics and biology to the effects of space on the human body. Yeah, I would have to say that every system in the body changes when it gets into zero gravity, and mostly it's the body adapting to kind of get to a place where it wants to be when there's no gravity. And so that includes losing maybe 15% of your blood volume and your red blood cells, and your heart changes shape, changes position. This is not Barrett's first time in space. He has been to the ISS two other times, first in 2009, and then again in 2011. The station is still this wonderful old station that I remember. It's big, it's capable, it's uh, very international. Dr. Barrett grew up in Camus, graduating high school there. He says his love of astronomy started young, he built telescopes, and just loved the dark skies. I kind of grew up as an OMSI kid, and I was able to explore some of those areas uh, as a kid, actually, doing some of the camps and doing some of the activities. Uh, at OMSI, so uh, that, that actually had a lot to do with uh, kind of nurturing those broad interests. I was at a uh, fifth grade classroom yesterday and said, hey, I'm going to talk to an astronaut aboard the space station. Is there a question that you would ask him? The first one, what's it like in space? There's, there's uh, maybe a couple of things that really make space amazing. One is zero gravity. So, I mean, this, this is zero gravity. Um, it's uh, something you have to get used to, but after a while, you love it. You become a three-dimensional creature and you fly like Superman and you can move heavy things and it's just really awesome. Uh, another one was, is what is your favorite food to eat up there? Some of the things I really like, uh, the uh, shrimp cocktail is great because we're an international station. We have food from everywhere. So some of the Russian foods I really like quite well. One of the students giving a presentation saying he wanted to be an astronaut was saying how hard it is to get into the space program. So for you, do you remember that challenge of getting in and, and how hard was it for you? You know, I'm no genius. My high school counselor <laughs> reminded me of that. Uh, you know, he said, you're no genius, but hard work will make up for that and curiosity. And he was absolutely right. Uh, so I wouldn't want any student to feel like you have to be an absolute Einstein to do this job. He said the best way in is find something that's useful to the space program. Get passionate about it because you can't be good at anything unless you really love it. Advice from an astronaut orbiting the Earth more than 20 times faster than the speed of sound. So that, that, that amazes me. So the, or, uh, the ISS is about 250 miles above us, goes around the Earth, orbits every 90 minutes. That so is in the time of amazing. sunrise, it would have orbited twice. That or, is so or orbited crazy. once, sorry. Wow, yeah. and I love that you took questions from your kids' class, class yeah. exactly, and brought them to him. And I mean, lo and behold, those were some of the answers that were like so interesting to me. Shrimp cocktail. <laughs> yeah. the, the food that he liked the most. Exactly. Hey, I want to show you a photo right now that on Monday is uh, for Monday's eclipse. This is from the ISS oh, wow. looking down. So that is uh, oh. over parts of look Maine and parts of Canada Whoa. Uh, right now. So that is their <gasps> view. As we were all looking up, they were looking down. Whoa, look at that huge, yeah, dark spot. Yeah. So cool. The shadow that it casts. <laughs> what a moment.